She wanna be like them other girls ain't in another world. She just can't figure them out. Doesn't come from my cheeks. Seen this one before. This child is wise now. Hey, she used to dream of high rises, full of surprises. Hey, yo, welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. I should be beat, but fuck it. It's fucking hump day. Welcome to motherfucking hump day. Welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. If it's your first time in the neighborhood, um, make sure you go back to welcome to the neighborhood. It's like a it's like a journey. You get to watch the journey from the beginning until wherever the fuck we at when you come in on the journey. Welcome, fuck. Um, if you want to know a little bit about the channel, go to um, what is it um, called? <sighs> y'all, y'all. Um, it's called um, I think about hope. So. First, I want to start this shit off with shout out to Magic motherfucking Mike. Shout out to the motherfucking Peace Dealer. Um, namaste. That's all I can say. You know, I appreciate you. Thank you for being a blessing in my life um, yesterday. Listen, <laughs> I'm over today. <laughs> but shout out to Magic Mike. Um, been a lookout. Uh, anyways, without saying too much, without doing too much, I appreciate you. I appreciate your soul. I appreciate you. Just keep hustling. Keep doing what you're doing. No matter fucking what. Um, let, let your soul glow, motherfucker. That's how I feel about that shit. Um, so today, yo, we're going to talk about minding your own motherfucking business. <laughs> Some shit popped off. My sister called my brother. My brother told her something, and he was just like, yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm, 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 it ain't my business. And you know what? That nigga, that nigga wise as fuck. Some shit just ain't your motherfucking business. As bad as you want it to be your business, sometimes it just ain't your motherfucking business. <laughs> and you got to fucking accept that and keep motherfucking going, especially when it's hard. I'm, I, um, so I'll say this. Hi, my name is Leanne, and I am a help holic And just so y'all know, especially talked about this yesterday, I did not do anything that I had planned to do, but I let God lead my motherfucking life. So I think I was exactly where I was supposed to do be, be doing what I was supposed to do. After I get off today, I'm going to um, do my yoga and shit. But um, real quick, I want to do a quick read for y'all. Pull some cards for y'all. Um, I am so I'm I'm embarrassed. Y'all probably can't see it, and most of the time they tell y'all not to point out shit. But um, I gotta get maintenance to come look at my vents because I got some mold on, growing on my vents because I keep the air on in my house because I have upstairs and downstairs, and as we all know, he rises. That's a real fucking thing. I didn't understand it till I lived in a two story house. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. So because it's hot, I keep the air on and. It's some moisture that keeps uh, it keeps getting on my motherfucking fence and it keeps molding. And I just, we need to see how deep the motherfucking problem is because, you know, a bitch just can't have no mold in her house. So that's, that's, there's that. Um, but y'all, a bitch trying to stay balanced. A bitch on her motherfucking chi. A bitch want to smoke a blunt. A bitch got a thousand things going on, but I'm just like, oh my. Bitch, because sometimes you just got to own it out, bitch. I got my tea. I got my stress relief tea. It says develop the power of listening. So I'm going to start shutting the fuck up and just listening to people. That, that's a thing. Um, Some shit people said really got me questioning my motherfucking my life. Um, But this, let me tell you, this Pisces moon and this God war, the gods, all these planets. They fucking with people. This shit is it's not a test. <laughs> this shit is really fucking with people. So, like, if you're wondering what's going on in your life and you're not a motherfucking spiritualist, you're not a fucking hippie guru, bitch, get you one, motherfucker. Get you a sage, bitch. Get you a shaman, bitch. Get you a bitch who could tell you how to navigate these spiritual waters because if you don't, bitch, you're a motherfucking drone. Do you understand? Do you understand? I hope you do. I hope you understand. Because right now, I'm just trying to keep my mind still. Trying to keep my mind calm. Trying to balance myself. Trying to keep other people's energy out of my energy. Trying to live in my truth. And and, and really just trying not to fuck off and fuck, flash out on nobody. Um, 
I just I just hope everybody understand. I hope nobody takes anything personally right now. You know, if you knew what was going on, it's a lot of crazy shit popping off. So there's that. There is that. There's that. There's that. Um, <laughs> so that's going on. You got a full moon. And so I, I did a um, full moon ritual. I know that sounds super hippy dippy, but all it was was like, and I need to actually write my intentions, but writing your intentions, make, making a wish, using the moon, just using, you, you could think of, think of it as goal markers. Okay. So using the moon to mark when you do each goal and how you intend to set, how you intend to win and how you intend to set each goal. So for all of the people that's not hippies out there, that's, that's all the fuck we, we did. We, a group of people who think alike. It was like, okay, we're going to get together and do this together to make sure that our dreams come true. So, to, to take all the craziness out of the hippy dippy shit, you know, that's just the way it is. So, um, one of the things I like to do is I like to motherfucking, I like to write my goals. I showed y'all my little heavy dandy notebook. I can't stay too long today because I definitely got shit to do, but I had to get on and make this. God said, it is time. So it was my time to get on here and do this shit. Let's change your mind, change your thoughts, motherfucker. You, in order for something new to grow, some old shit gotta die. And no, everybody know that death is not a good, it's not a pleasant experience. And it's more than a, it's, it's not always about physical death. Everybody think when they see the death card, oh, something. Nah, sometimes it's a death of a mentality. You know what I'm saying? So last night we jumped timelines. And this, this was my super hippy dippy people. But one of the things Mike said, was um in order to to get something new you have to give something up so what are you giving up to create the life that you want so um i gave up negative thinking and i feel like once you give that thing up it becomes harder to do <laughs> god like oh did you really give it up let's see so a bitch over here like a little cokehead like bitch no negative thoughts no negative thoughts it is what it is um so I'm just trying to keep it together um, and, and stay on my path and stay because let me tell you, it's things coming to distract me. But God, I know that he got things for me. He got things for my, he, he got things that he want me to do. So I can't get distracted. I just got to stay focused on the goal. So I'm going to pull a couple cards for y'all, see what messages that guy, you know, I do encouragement shit. So the ace of swords, I'm telling the motherfucking truth. Um, so a few couple cards, I'm going to pull an Oracle card and then I'm going to hop off this bitch and y'all already know, get straight to the money. Hey, we getting straight to the motherfucking money. Oh, that wanted to come out. It wanted to come out, but it just didn't. It's just not. And you got anything else for me? Spirit guide team. Bitch, I'm gonna start singing everything. Like that's usually what I do, anyways. <laughs> I heard. Oh, that's the King of Wands. That dick. Ooh. Ooh. Um, <laughs> that's so funny that that's what I thought of when I saw the King of Wands. All right, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Bitch, that's all I got the world card as the world turns the young and the restless motherfucker so we got so popping out we got the page of swords the fool um the knight the what is it the king of pentacles the hierophant the um the king of wands the seven of swords and the world all right give me a second let me look and see See what the cards tell me. See what messages I got for you guys today. First, I'm gonna be careful what you do and what you say. That's that's like I look at these and that's what come to my heart. Like I want to make them say something else, but be careful what you do, what you say, um, because it's good to be a fool and it's good to be young. But just be careful be, what you do and you say. Be strategic with your words. Be strategic with your actions. Be strategic with everything you got going on right now, especially with this moon in in 
in Pisces because it's fucking with some things. So, you know, it's okay to, to, to go head first into some shit. But just be careful how you do it. Be mindful of how you do it. Don't, don't, don't. Don't do no fucked up shit. Don't do no underhanded shit. But you got to be, you definitely have to choose your wise, your words wisely. Um, sometimes we revert because of different things back to childhood, back to little things. And, and that's no good. So, like, once you learn that, once you, once you master using your words wisely, once you master the things that it is that you need to do to get where you want to go, once you go from this page to a king, once you, you know, because you, I, I feel like, Especially me, always be the fool. I always think that you should be the fool. I, and I said this last night, tread softly, but carry a big stick. Um, but always be the fool and understand in the beginning of the journey, you know, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. And you'll meet a lot of people like this. And so the seven of ones is, is fucked up people, trickery people, people who don't mean you any good. But, you know, I don't like to read like that. But I say just be strategic how you meet how you how you deal with these people. I say this is my strategy card. This is all right, bitch. So I got these swords. I gotta get these other two swords in my motherfucking hand without dropping these bitches. How can I do this? How can I be meticulous and, and, and achieve what it is that I need to achieve? So sometimes you gotta sit down, be quiet, and fucking learn. Observe and then master. Um and then once you do that. You you will you will you will own who you are. The king of the one king of ones is a boss. You know what I'm saying? A nigga with a big dick ain't really worried about bitches because he already know he got a big dick. Um, and that's I know that's a crazy analogy to use, but the king of ones is a king. The king don't really do too much. The king don't really move around for too much. He the king and he fiery, but he know how to wield his fire. You know, you start off as a page of ones, but you go through you you fuck up sometimes. But the king of ones has mastered his power and knows when and how to use it. And I think that because he, you know, knows when and how to use it, he becomes the king of king of uh, pinnacles. He get that money. He he accomplishes uh, stability that you know people long for, and and that's just the circle of life. That's just how just that's just the way it goes. So if I can look at everything, and and I would say. Um, and even with the page of swords to the seven of swords, that's still growth. So be the fool. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Understand that you're young and you need to learn how to move, how to speak. Because if you wield that sword incorrectly and you move too fast, you can hurt somebody. So be strategic in everything that you do. Learn with everything that you do. Be mindful um, so that you can be successful. And, and sometimes that means sitting back and shutting the fuck up. I mean, sitting back and listening. That means sitting back and being still. And once you learn how to do that, you become a master of whatever craft you is. Sometimes it's, it's, it's fire, but whatever. It's not, it's, we're not limited or bound to cards, but you become the king or the master of whatever that is. And once you become the master of whatever it is that you're supposed to learn and that you need to learn, you become, you can, you can have a stability, the stability that you dreamed of, but it takes time. You got to trust and believe that whatever you do, whatever you set out to do, you know, you, novice, growth, learning accomplishment accomplishment but it takes time so that's what i think about that that's how i feel about those cards that's what you know and the king of cups you get the fucking you get emotional happiness but it's a process you know what i'm saying you, you don't just go from the 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 page of pen the, the the page of swords to the the king of swords it's some shit in between that and so be comfortable with the process be careful with the journey and um Take your enthusiastic heart. That's the thing about the fool. The fool is a is a big ass fucking kid. All right. So the cards I got is the keepers of of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Beside you. Answer your call. What is your soul calling you to do? Um, just that. Like whenever you feel like you're alone, pray. Like that's my thing. I pray. God answered my prayers. I told God to go handle some shit. Go take care of some people that I'm not able to get to. So he gonna take care of that shit. And I know he is. And um, answer my calling. I, I, it's a lot of things that I don't want to do. It's a lot of things that I, I feel like you know, I, God, why me? But he, he called me to do it. So I picked up that bitch like one Zion, Jesus. So you know, don't like. Understand whatever you believe in, don't believe in. You ain't alone. You got a you got a soul team. Shit, you feel like you you can't make it. Motherfucker, hit me in the comments or some shit. Cause I'm here. I'm here for people like you. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm gonna answer the call whenever you call. Cause that's me. That's who God called me to be. So 
that's all I got for you today, baby. That's my New Orleans accent. I don't really talk like that. That's really, I, bitch, I love a New Orleans accent. Uh, um, so, guys, just stay grounded. That's, that's learn how to stay grounded in the midst of a storm. Learn, learn how to stay grounded in the midst of chaos because sometimes that's what it takes. Sometimes it takes you to know how to be calm, to show others how to be calm around you. Sometimes it takes your, 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 your delicate words and your, your, your strategy or your, your strategic movements to, you know, just to, to, to not fall off the path. So, who oh, bitch! Today, Lord, today is a test. You know what I'm saying? Today is, today is, I wouldn't even say it's a test. It's, it's just, bitch, I'm, bitch, I'm wild. Do the spanky leg. That's what popped up in my head. <laughs> um, so, I am going to skedaddle. Um, it's been a great day. The lovers. Love yourself. Um fucking ace of cups i'll take that shit too but um i'm a, i'm this was I, I needed to do this one because i needed to release some stress i might go paint i don't know i, I do a workout maybe go hop on my bike when i get off from work today because i just need a second i need a second to clear my mind um and just pray and meditate i'm about to go into a deep prayer a deep meditation spend some time with god so y'all be easy have a great fucking day i'm gonna take you out with some motherfucking chica because that's my bitch shout out to her let's do this Father, grant me blessings. Pat, I'm on this lonely, so right now just help me feel your presence. You feel me?